by the goalkeeper. And she finished it! Hello guys, welcome to the live stream. We are down at Randall's Island again today for Sanzac against the Ukrainians. We're going to start off with the reserves at 6pm and then we're going to have the first teams in their huge promotion battle game at 8pm. But let's start with the reserves. Both Sanzac and Ukrainians are near the top of the table. Sanzac, if they won today, would go within two points of the leaders right now, Borgetta reserves. The Ukrainians, however, won every single game in the, in the reserve division, haven't conceded in their last three won 4-0 last week against Flushing, 5-0 against Missy the week before, so the Ukrainians in fantastic form. Uh, if, if Ukrainians could win today, they would overtake Borgetto because Borgetto have lost uh, their, game, their game that they had over the Ukrainians. The Ukra Ukrainians with a game in hand, a chance to go to the top, and Sanzak, if they can win, their reserves team will move within two points of, of, uh, of Borgetto at the top. And uh, you can see we've got the teams warming up behind us and we should be kicking off very shortly, guys. So without further ado, let's have a look at our Sanzac starting lineup. And Sanzac is led and by the player coach, Adis Perisic. We have number two, Kadim Alasawi. Number three, Demir Dasik at the back. Number four, Elmer Masik. We have number five, Elevin Lukovic. Number six, the fullback, Mezrin Mustafic. We have number seven, Aliza Hodzic, a very dangerous player. We have the poacher, Fero Durovic Savic. We'll see if he's in the first team or reserves today. We have the skipper in the middle, number 10, Albert Klenovic. We have number 11, Jesus Jimenez. We have number 12, Mirset Perisic, who I should know is actually wearing number 11 today, so I'm not sure where Jimenez is. We have got number 13, the big man in the middle, Akai. Got number 14, Meldin Sadanovic. Number 15, Barajim Krikic. We have number 16, Safet Dezaferovic. We have in goal, Elvin Rezimatovic. We have the young man, very lively, Ramo Sekic. We have Elchian Novovic. And there is our Sanzac reserves team currently uh, sitting third in the table. If they can win, they're going in two points. Uh, Borgetto facing a very good Ukrainian team. And let's see what the Bosnians can pull out of the hat today. And uh, mercifully, we do not, have not been subject to the same rain. And it seems like we're going to escape the rain. If you watched last week, uh, Sanzac against Bloc Espanol games, their heavens truly opened. But it's a very nice temperature as well, it's about 65. And I should also mention, as well as uh, the players I mentioned, we've got Darko Drinkic, who's actually going to be wearing the number 14 shirt today. And he's going to be playing with the reserves today.
All right, guys. Referee's in the middle, calling the captains in. To the side, uh, I suppose we'll get the kickoff. Let's have a look who we've got out there for Sanzak in that Stein lineup. Got a Rezimatovic, of course, in goal. Looks like a centre back we're going to have Makic and uh, Slimovic. We've got a uh, Mustafic at the left back, Dezaferovic at the right back, Drinkic in the centre midfield alongside Alasawi, Podzic on the left wing. In the centre attacking, we have got Sekic. As we get the game underway, we have uh, Mirzet Persic on the right wing and Addis Persic, the player manager, in that attacking midfield position actually looks like as well. So actually Ramos Sekic looks like he's, uh, he's going to be the centre forwards. And uh, Sandak going up against an incredibly formidable Ukrainian reserve team today who, uh, as I said before, won every single game. And their last three games are just been a great run of form. They beat Central Park Rangers 2-0, 5-0 win over Mr. LFC, and 4-0 last weekend against Flushing. So the Sandak reserves going to have to be on their A game. And there's some early pressure from... Uh, Ukrainians are looking in behind. Makic happy just to ferry that one out. And the referee just asking for a change of ball. So that one's a little bit flat. happy with that one. No, Reza Matovic giving it out to Makic. And it looks like Selimovic is going to be playing in that centre-back position alongside uh, Makic. Nice little give and go between Asawi and uh, Drinkic. But the referee's waving play on there. He was waving for handball and they have an early chance. And it's decently well hit. A couple of feet wide in the end. But a good press by the Ukrainians. And very nearly punishing Sanzak early on. Nice to have long Ramo Sekic trying to bring it down and uh it's coming out to Hodzic, who just took a little bit too long on it, and it's out of the Ukrainian's right winger. And the Ukrainians with a nice little bit of possession there, getting out to the skipper, the left back. They're looking for some gaps there between the side of that defence, sending towards the back post. Mustafic intercepting. Drinkic looking for Hodzic, but it's back with the uh, Ukrainians again. That was just a little over here. Alasawi bringing it down. Getting back to Mustafic. And Mustafic got caught in it. And they've lost it a few too many times already, Sanzak, in that day's share. And it's fizz across the box. Behind all the options in there, and uh, Pirisic giving it back to Rezimatovic. And Hodzic, that's nice into Pirisic. And Pirisic managed to barrel his way through too very well, but well intercepted there in the middle, and they're back with it again, the Ukrainians. 
Alasawi doing well there to intercept that. But the Ukrainians back with the ball once again. They've dominated the possession these first few minutes, the Ukrainians. Drinkic intercepting that one. And coming in a little too hard for the referee's liking on the back of the Ukrainian. And so they're going to have a free kick here in a decent position. Pushed up four into the box of the Ukrainians. And they do have some, some good height up there. Sent it towards the goalie and uh, Reza Matovic. Very comfortably catching it in the end of the near post. Makic giving it up to Ramo Sekic. Purisic into Drinkic. And Drinkic gets caught in it and uh, Ukrainians are coming back at them again, Sanzak. Mustafic getting the tackle in. Makic, who is a so good with the ball at his feet, the centre back, makes such a big difference for Sanzak's possession game. Sekic giving it back to Selimovic. and uh, Sandak can join that first little spell on the ball. But of course, right as I said that, it's won back by the Ukrainians. Does a fair of it, it's getting his fill net. And it's a really big field as well here at Randall's Island. So a lot of space for a team that does want to possess to try and exploit. Hozic with well, some good pressure there though. And Alasawi. Looking to cut it back into Hodzik. Drinkic knocking on and Ramos Sekic brought that down well. And here's Mustafic, the left back. Looking for an early one in to Adis Purisic. And then number 23 looking in behind and Mustafic has miscontrolled that. And uh, the number 16 was looking for a free kick there, didn't get it. Mustafic's giving it into Alasawi. And Alasawi driving that ball forward, but over here for uh, Sekic. Keeper off his line. And great pressure there by Alasawi to get that one back. Well won there by the Ukrainian midfielder. It's going to be out for another Ukraine throw. It's a good little flick on. Makic just caught in two minds, waiting for Reza Matovic to come out. He didn't. Makic cornered, but he's got good physical presence to hold off the pressure. And then very calmly winning the corner. First, the goal kick for Sanzak. Just checking uh, Reza Matovic. Not injured and it, thankfully it's not. So play will resume.
Perisic chasing it back well there. And here's Ramo Sekic. Only 17, uh, Ramo. But Pat Post on excellent performances for uh, the reserve team. First game we saw, he got two. And uh, last week, put in a very commendable display as well uh, for the first team of Sanzac. And that was just off the wrong wavelength there between the, the fullback and the winger. And Makic will take the throw. Into Alasawi, brings it down well. So good with his feet, Alasawi. Just over, ran a little bit there though. And the Ukrainians coming back, giving it to the striker. Set back to the middle, and that's nice by the Ukrainians. Transitioning across the field. And uh, Perisic just hacking down the Ukrainian player. And they're gonna have a free kick in a decent position here. The Ukrainians, about 25 yards out. They've taken it quickly. The wall wasn't even set. It was hit into that wall, though, luckily. And that's a much harder shot. And it cannoned into Mustafik. I think it might have been a little corporate handball there, but his hands were very close to his body, also, to be fair. And Mackett, Mustafik's there, clearing it out well. Austin Salimovic putting his foot through that one. And Drinkic out to Hodzic and they've got a chance here to break. Ramo Sekic up ahead on the last man. Hodzic looking for the passing angle. Persic has gone through and it just intercepted there by the Ukrainian player and that's a nice give and go there. And the number 16 now has got a bit of space to drive into. Crossing the back post, there's a Ferovic. Has given it to, back to a Ukrainian. On the edge of the box, has the shot. Deza Ferovic gets the block that time. Played back to the winger. And he looks to whip in with his left foot. And uh, Makic with a very solid header. And Asawi getting on to Hozik. Back to Mustafik. And Mustafik looking for Adis Perisic. But they're really struggling to keep the ball at the moment. And that's Ruwan, and he's got a chance to end. Was looking enough for the flick on header, just couldn't get enough contact to redirect it. A lovely floated ball in, not easy to do a vertical cross like that, but really well weighted. And there's Sekic. Done well to come away with that Sekic. And there's Alasawi. Looking in for Hozic, but it's lost again. Mustafic couldn't keep a hold of that. And the Ukrainians with another chance break. A good first touch there. Selimovic, though. Solid tackle. And there's Alasawi. Perisic into Adis Perisic. And that is a very strong top on the number 19. Got the ball. And that's another very strong second one. Take out about three stands out players in the space of two tackles. Another well, place going on. There's the 16. Drinkic. Getting about there. And that's Perisic. Some nice fit there by Perisic. He's got Ramo on the right looking to flick it in behind him, but didn't quite get the angle he's looking for. Some really nice feet though from Perisic to escape the defenders. And the Ukrainians back with it. And uh, they have struggled a little bit, Sanzai, just to find. Uh, Sekic, he's been a cut an isolated figure so far. Ukrainians keeping a couple back to protect against that option. And they're switching it out now. We're about 14 minutes into this first half with uh, Ukrainians definitely having been the dominant team so far. It's probably was to be expected given their record in this league. And as I said at the start, Vojeto played one more game than the Ukrainians, but they lost that game. 
And they're through now, the Ukraine's been across and Reza Matovic getting across, catching him with two hands well. But as I was saying, Borgetto lost today. Oh, sorry, yesterday, so uh, the reserves team. So if the Ukrainians can win this game, they will have extended a three point lead over Borgetto. And that hit a hand there, but the referee hasn't called it, and the Ukrainians aren't waiting around to hang about, and he's been fouled now. <laughs> Some very strong protests from the Sanzac players. So the decision's been given, and it's going to be a free kick to uh, the Ukrainians in another good spot. And the referee's probably going to start dishing out some yellow cards if Sanzac aren't careful with the it's, uh, protesting. Just giving the final warnings. men in the sands out wall. The Ukrainian steps up and it's hit the wall again. Looking hopefully to get it back in, but Dezaferovic comfortable to shepherd that one out. that one. Where's it? looking for cross field. Hosic gets his head on it. Cleared out by Ukraine partially, but back again. Sounds like it's forced it bouncing around. Been there. Selimovic strong there. And Mustafic can only clear it to a Ukrainian shirt, and they've got some space here. Looking for the switch. Makic watching that carefully. Selimovic looking to stay away. Dezaferovic. And Dezaferovic with a nice ball up to Ramos Sekic, who brings it down expertly. Looking for Hodzic. Drinkic and uh, overhit that one. Mustafic getting a foul throw caught on him there. Tosin Alasawi has shown lots of energy in the centre midfield as usual in the number two. Winning it back and getting ahead on it there. Persic just got a little bit crowded out there. Both teams at the moment just struggling to get purchase on the ball. There's been a lot of uh, changeovers. And uh, Medin Sekic is coming on at the right defence position. Does a Ferovic having a break. And Ramo Sekic with a hopeful ball up to Hodzik. They just got to stay awake here, Ukraine. Cleared out. It's going to go out to Alasawi. Asawi look for the option, switching it out nicely to Persic. And it's a good one too. Uh, look for a second. I think Ramo Sekic had a little more space there than he realised. Just 
Hodzic just uh, overran that one. And the Ukrainians coming away here now. Mustafic running that one decently. First back again. Given out to the left winger. Drinkic in the middle. And we haven't seen Drinkic this season yet. And that is a lovely ball by Drinkic out to Hodzic. And Hodzic's got some space if he's got the pace. Ramos Sekic on the right point. On the back post. He tried to cut in for him. That's the most promising bit of play from Sanzak yet. Fantastic ball out by uh, Drinkic. the middle and Makic anticipating that one well, clearing it out. Perisic into Hodzig and then Sekic back into Hodzig and Sanzak just having a little spell here and uh, he's been brought down there and Sanzak are going to have a decent opportunity to hit that one into the box. It's going to be Makic to uh, deliver the cross. Five options to aim for in the penalty area. And he whips in with that right foot. Good ball in and it's bounced across and... Ramos Sekic, if he could have got a touch on that, would have surely been a, a goal. Excellent delivery in there by Makic. Mustafik. Trying to read that one. They're looking up long again. last game. Um, I'm going to turn off this thing for now and we're just going to have the threes so that I can cover it. And it's sent in long and uh, the referee calling it offside on the number nine there. And uh, of course in the reserve games there isn't linesmen so it can be a little bit tricky for the referee at times, especially going covering such a big field. Makic sending that up long. And Alasawi looking over the top. But they've got some good presence, those uh, Ukrainian centre backs, and uh, they've been pretty comfortable dealing with the long ball by Sanzak. That's a nice touch by. Ramo and he's going to get a free kick for that. Alice Pulisic, Pulisic has uh, taken a breather. And 
Makic will deliver this one in, and we've got Dasic on the field now. That one's out here, Darko Drinkic. And just canning it around between a bunch of different players. Hey, young man, who's the number three? Amir Hot. Amir Hot, he's playing the for the one, river. The one in the orange, please? Yeah, yeah, it's Amir Hot. Amir Hot. Okay, thank you. So it's Amir Hot today, he's playing with the reserves. He's just come on the number three, normally with the first team. But I know they're a little bit short today, Sanzak. Men in second, sending in, and that was a decent looking ball. And that's how he's got in the back post. Uh, driven very wide, and he can only hit it into the side netting in the end. Appealing for a corner. Sanzak delivering in some uh, dangerous looking balls in the last couple of minutes. Drinkic getting up well there. And Sekic has been absolutely clattered from behind. And the referee has given that. And it's going to be another Sanzak free kick. Very central, long, long way away from the goal, about 40 yards out. kick to take the free kick whips in again bounce around and it's cleared out in the end by the Ukrainians going to be a Sanzak thrown deep inside their half Alasawi moves over to take it Staffix was looking out for Menin Sekic, and Menin Sekic trying to burst forwards. Ridden two tackles, but the final touch took it a bit too far away. We're about 25 minutes into this first half. And guys, just a reminder, we are going to have the first teams of Sanzak against the Ukrainians at 8 p.m. And that is one to stay up for, because both those teams just off of the promotion spot. We just saw Japan win 2-1 against Flushing, Sanzak and uh, the Ukrainians both have two games in hand on Japan and if either one can win both of those games they will move into that playoff promotion spot and with only three games left in the season really is a must win game for both those teams so they want to have a good chance of the playoffs. Drinkic, putting his foot down, looking out for Hodzik. Intercepted though. And Mustafic looking drag forwards, but the first touch was too loose. And here comes the Ukrainians. Given into the middle. Nice. Salimovic watching it. Now Asawi getting a good second clearance on it. Must be back with the Ukrainians again. And they started very strong in the Ukrainians. The first 10 minutes really dominated possession. Looked threatening, but then Sanzak, who have looked stronger as the first half progressed. And Medin Sekic with a good double tackle there. Sanzak making another change. Hozik coming off on the left side and. Uh, Kirkic coming onto the left wing. And that's loose, and uh, Persic has also come back on. Gives up to Amir Hot, and Amir Hot is caught late, and it's another late tackle, and the referees. Going to give a yellow card for that one. I think probably deservedly so. It's not a good tackle there. And very little protestation from the Ukrainians over that one. A 
and Mackett who's delivered. Good balls in so far with another chance to do it. Sends it in. Mitchell's back over. Peacock comes out, but the keeper's missed it. And Krukic almost with his first touch. I think it was his first touch with a really golden opportunity. For Sanzak, it's a free header. The keeper has left flapping for it. But the Ukrainians escape. And the referee actually, in the end, he's, gonna, he's given a corner. I don't know if it's a Ukrainian defender who got a last touch in that back post. So Ramo Sekic to take it. Ukrainians probably do just about have the height advantage. In there. Let's see what Sekic can deliver. Into the centre, and it's a really important flick there. But then Sekic back with it. Gives it back to Makic, and Makic with a very ambitious effort. Gone high and wide. And a wry smile by Makic there. It would have really been something speci special to get it in there. It's a little bit awkward how the ball ran across his body. Sorry, again, winning it in the middle. Here's Amir Hot looking for a clever little heel back into Pirisic. Darko Drinkic will retrieve it. Here's Ramo Sekic. Sekic went down by the referee waving play on. It's gone out, it's going to be a Ukrainian throw. Oh, sorry, free kick given on, given on Ramo. And uh, that's a nice little interchange in the left winger. Coming forwards with it. And looking direct up forwards and he's controlled that with his hand there, the number nine. It was not a bad effort after that. But it's going to be a Sanzat free kick on the edge of their own area. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And if you are watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. We have got so much exciting football coming through the rest of this spring season. Lots more Cosmopolitan League. Very exciting youth teams and perhaps even more than that. Got a very exciting announcement that will be revealed soon. So hit the subscribe button, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in, supporting these teams and supporting the Gaming Frame live stream. That ball switched out to the right back. Nice little cold ball out there. And nicely worked there. And he's got a bit of space to run forward. Coming inside. And it was not the right pass out to the winger. It seemed for a second that a gap had opened up between Sekic and uh, Makic. But... Pass was not found. Takes down the line. Sek Matt Ramos Sekic. Can you handle it? Amir Hot would chase this down. And uh, the keeper was under a little bit of pressure from Krukic and uh, can only put it out for a throw in. We've moved into the over the half hour mark and both teams still haven't managed to fashion a clear cut chance. Sounds like probably had a little bit better of this half on the balance. And Desert Fe Ferrick has uh, come back on for Sanzak on that right wing. And that's going to be a free kick for uh, the Ukrainians. Perisic, who's uh, made way. And 
there's route one football there. The striker gets a flick on, but no one running after it. And Reza Matovic didn't get the clearance he wanted there. It's going to come right back at the Sandak defence. And Makic slices that one. It'll be Ukraine throwing in deep inside of that Sandak calf. And that's a nice little turn there. And he's down to the byline, cutting in. Sends it in the front post, and it's still bouncing around. Reza Matovic got the touch, and it's still down loose. And Mustafic with a heroic clearance, but in the end, free kick given to Reza Matovic. The Ukrainian striker definitely entitled to go for that ball. He just got there just a fraction after Reza Matovic, and uh, free kick to Sanzak. Amir Hot did not get the pass he was looking for, and it's going to be Ukraine's coming away, intercepted by Sekic. But another loose pass. Sekic is going to have another go at it. Both teams just hand the ball back to each other again. Amir Hot got caught in on the back, and he's going to get a free kick for that one. Just came in a little hard on uh, Amir's back there. And Mackie's going to have his chance again to ping this in. Very central, and he's hit it right at the goalkeeper. And in the end, it's gone over the bar. Always difficult those centrally positioned free kicks. It was too far out really to have a shot. Difficult to, to cross it. Nice interchange there. Now Sawi. Getting in the middle, but a good tracking back run there by the Ukrainian centre midfielder to win that back from Alasawi. Nice little dink in. And the number nine is always dangerous and such a good target man for the Ukrainians. Saw him score a couple the last time we saw the Ukrainian reserves when they smashed Misil FC 5-0. Looking in that channel for that number nine again, he just lost his footing. And Reza Matovic is going to have a chance to gather that one. And both sides still just struggling to find that cutting edge to really open up the opposition. But I think on balance, Sanzak would be happy with how it's gone, they, they expected to really be up against it against this Ukrainian team, given they've won every game. But it's been a very evenly matched contest so far. The one advantage the Ukrainians are going to have, they've got a bit more depth on that bench today. it would be interested to see if that factors in at all, the fatigue as, as the match goes on. And the centre midfielder looking over the top end, he's found him, but the first touch of the winger was not good enough. Mustafic got away with that one. <laughs> Mustafic though with a good step that time. And looking up for Amir Hot. And Amir Hot gets his first touch on it. We couldn't direct him anyone. It's back with the keeper. Keeper calmly clearing out and good pass out to the left winger. And 
and it's sent in long over the top. Then when I bring it down, it's a lovely little first touch and then pass out to the winger. And he's got some options in there if he can find one. Whipped in the, and it's fallen to the number 14 and brought it down by Mustafic. With a good clearance. It's sent out longer and it's gone over Mustafic again, but that one has gone comfortably out in the end. Set kicks, bringing it down well there, giving it to Alasawi. And Alasawi with a direct ball, looking for Amir Hot. Keeper came off his line to clear that one. Number 18 brought it down well. Drinkic, getting it back. Nice give and go between Makic. And Drinkic and the centre back continuing to move forward. They just overran it a bit, but back with Drinkic and uh, Mustafic. Let that one run away from him. We move into the final five minutes of this first half. With both teams really struggling to create a clear cut opportunity. Mustafic won it back, but Krikic has touched, let him down. And it's drilled in, but again, just the quality on that final ball lacking. And Reza Matovic gathered that one. Just waiting for the ball to be retrieved. It's now back with uh, Mustafic. Give it to Alasawi. Brings it down. And Alasawi really pressing that one well. Tireless energy in the middle, Alasawi. I want to stand out long and Alasawi again in the right spot. to Amir Hot. Sekic with a hopeful scoop up to Ramo Sekic. Intercepted. away from it, Ramos Sekic. The ball just ran away from him in the end. Back with Medin Sekic. Clever little flip back to Makic, but it sold him a bit short. And he had to just clear it out. And uh, Hodzic is uh, being sent back in onto that left side. Krakic's coming off. Sekic looking for Amir Hot. Dezaferovic won that one well, but not a good pass to Hodzic. That one sent up long. Makic with a good header. And Medin Sekic. And while it hasn't been much of a spectacle this first half, I think it's fair to say. Been very cagey from both teams and just lacking 
the quality right now in the final third, but we know both these teams have got it. And the Ukrainians themselves scored nine goals in the last two, but just struggling right now to get pressure on the ball. That's going to be a free kick in the middle. Hopefully, uh, half time, both teams can get their heads together and uh, give us a bit more of an attacking game in the second half. So they have a chance here late on in this first half, the Ukrainians. They're just going to send this one, route one, up into the Sanzak area. That's around the 23's turning it and he's had the volley. There's a half chance that he'd be disappointed that he didn't hit the target. It was a good turn by him. And with that, we're probably at our final action of this first half. And there is the half-time whistle. Been a relatively low-key first half. Not many chances from either side. Both of them be anxious to get a win for the Ukrainians so they can pull ahead Borgetto by three points. And uh, the Sanzaks, they can get within two points of Borgetto. But right now, all level. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. Let's see how, what we have in the second half.
All right, guys, and welcome back for the second half. We've got Ferro Durovic Sabovic on at for Sanzak. I assume we'll be centre forward. That should give him a little more teeth up there. We have uh, Ramo Sekic on the right wing, the 17 year old. Hodzic on the left wing. Alasawi and Amir Hot in the middle. Darko Drinkic also in the middle. And uh, Menin Sekic. Makic, Selimovic, and Mustafic, the back four. And we're just short of one thing for this second half to resume, and that is a, got a ball. Sanzak coach just going over to grab a suitable candidate. Off we go. Play out to the right back. Do the centre player. Let's see what these teams can bring. It was a very dull first half. But we know both these teams got a lot of quality. I'm sure they'll be anxious to show some of it in the second half as they both chase that top spot in the reserve league. And here's a Ferdovic Savic. Looking to set away Amir Hot and uh, overhit the pass. But positive from Sanz out there. Looking out to the right back and to the winger. And as a almost a decent looking ball as well. Both teams early on this half looking for some more penetrating passes in behind the defences. Durovic, Savovic, wriggling the way there between two, and here's Alasawi. Doing the back to Mustafic. Alasawi. Just ahead of uh, Amir Hot. with it at the back, going out to the captain on the left. Makic winning that one back. I'm a second into Drinkic. And Drinkic trying to push through, but a good tackle by the centre midfielder and Ukrainians back with it. Cut inside to the centre forward. He's looking for the right winger, but didn't get a good connection behind the pass. It's still back with the Ukrainians. And that's a smart little pass, and he's driving at the defence now, the number 23. Comes onto that right foot, has the strike. And Selimovic got his body in the way. Ukraine still coming with it. And the number 15 looking to thread that in behind. But the chance is lost, but that was a dangerous moment for Sanzak. Selimovic, last minute, getting his foot in the way of that shot. Ramo Sekic moving into the centre midfield position. Alasawi out to the right wing. Here's uh, Durovic Savovic. Nice little spin around the defender. But the second one coming back in. I'm expecting we'll probably see Durovic Savovic for the first team as well. Makic's got the interception and uh, Medin Sekic 
Couldn't get that second ball though. And there they come again, Ukraine. Danko Drinkic lost that one. Now that's Sari, nice play into Amir Hot. Hodzic is in a lot of space on the left. Here's uh, Durovic Savic. Hodzic still going. Savic trying to take on the right. Just lost a little bit of momentum the attack now, but Alasawi with it. And he's going to have to be forced back, Alasawi. Nice. One batted by the Ukrainians. Sanzak wasting that one. into the centre midfielder and there's a got a right winger going in it's a good ball into that winger and it's a race between him and Rezimatovic Rezimatovic coming out on top that was a dangerous looking ball in behind though for that winger just absolutely streaking up here's a Ramo Sekic both teams certainly have started this second half with a lot more attacking intent than what was shown in the first Number 18 has got a bit of space to drive into now. He's going to have the long range shot and he's hit it well. And just a foot wide of that left post. Got his opportunity to drive the defence and gratefully took it. And nearly punishing Sanzak. Sounds like making another change and uh, so Vushitovic from the first team coming in. He's going to be on that right wing. We're in the number five shot today. Pretty dangerous front freeze the Sanzak have now. Ramo Sekic watching that one well. Jurovic Savic with some good defensive work there. The centre forward to come back and it's going to be uh, signs that throw. And he's won that one, the 15. He's going to have another chance to drive at this. Signs that defence. Alasawi comes over, gets a foot on it. Well, the pass to Hodzic was over hit. And he's got some space now on the right wing. Cutting inside. And here is on the edge. He skipped around the tackle, and that is going to be a free kick for the Ukrainians right in the corner of the penalty area. And they've wasted their, their shooting opportunities from free kick so far, the Ukrainians. Both have gone into the wall, but they, maybe they'll get third time lucky here. Steps up to take it. And that one has gone over the wall and it's gone over the Reza Masovic's hands as well. And Ukrainians get the scoring underway. His uh, first two free kicks he would not have been happy with. Both hit the wall, but that one bent over it well. I think uh, Reza Masovic will probably not want to watch that one back though. He let that one go through his hands. Sanzak are going to have to chase this one now. The 
the Ukrainians probably were threatening just a little bit more in the second half. And Durovic Savic got a pretty hard late kick on his shin there. And the yellow card, second yellow of the game for uh, the Ukrainian defender. It's going to be Selimovic who will deliver this one in. And uh, Durovic Savic just trying to hold that ball up but couldn't keep his feet. And the Ukrainians will come away with it. Looking in behind and uh, Selimovic came across well there to cut that one out. Well, 35 minutes left in the game, so plenty of time still for Sanzat to come back. But they're also facing the Ukrainian team that's not conceded in the last three. Just hiled up as uh, one of the Ukrainians had to retrieve that ball from over the fence. Just fit through that one. Vushitovic can keep a hold of that one, and they're coming forward again. The Ukrainians. He skipped around Alasawi's tackle, got around the second, and went over too easily there. And the referee just wait, trying to wave him back up to his feet. Ramo Sekic coming out on top of that one. Sekic having to watch that one carefully and he's going to get a free kick for that and the veteran just holding his knee hopefully nothing too problematic we have seen a few more winters than some of the other players in this pitch mid in that's a big battle for it Men in seconds, launching it down to Vushtovic. Vushtovic trying to hold off that tackle. And he's going to surely get a free kick for that. Yeah, the referee's blown. And Vushtovic doing well out of that in the end. He was pretty cornered. Sounds like with a good chance to deliver a ball into the box. Ramos Sekic. We'll deliver that one in. Looks like him or Vushtovic. And Ramo Sekic with the free kick. Send in the near post and uh, comes to be cleared out at the end. Ukrainians will look to break here. And he's ridden the first tackle, and Menin Sekic brought him down, and he's going to get a yellow card for that Menin Sekic. Stopped their counter attack, but took a yellow for that. Up in towards the area, Ramo Sekic winning that one, and Vushtovic looking for the cute flick over the skipper's head, but it was red. And here's the number 18, looking for his options, and he's hit that one decently as well. Over the bar, though, but another threatening effort from Ukraine from distance.
Sorry, we're in that one. And he's looking for Amir Hot over the top. The centre back was alert to the danger. And that one's cleared out. Sari with the throw. Initial one went out. And uh, Makic went out for a volley, but that one's intercepted. There's going to be another Sanzat throw. Quickly out to Durovic Savic. He's got Hodzic and uh, Hot in the middle. Goes out to the edge. He's going to go back with uh, Medin Sekic. And Sekic is going to have a very speculative effort, but. Didn't get any power behind it, really. Keep her comfortable to gather that one. That's Limovic, who's putting a solid display in that centre-back position. Get a strong head on it. Cleared out that time. Alasawi. Good interception there. Still trying to drive through, and he's put enough pressure on the Ukrainian player to get a throw for Sanzak. Sawi sending it in long. Amir Hot getting the flick on. And it's almost dropped back to him. The Ukrainians turn out. And back with uh, Slimovic. Amir Hot with a lovely little flick into Durovic Savic. And Savic on the turn! At the end, it's gone out for a, a throw, but it's a really sharp turn by Durovic Savic there. And very nearly fashioned himself a golden opportunity, the number nine. Lovely flick as well by Amir Hot in there. And it's a, I have to say, it's such a beautiful evening here at Randall's Island. It's just perfect temperature for soccer. It's about 65. We had a little bit of rain in that first half, but the sun is out now. And that's a lovely flick there by the winger, but just ran in too much trouble. Medin Sekic got caught late. The referee is going to call it back for Medin. Kits will take the free kick. Sent up long and it's bouncing around in there. Cleared out. In the end, Ramos Sekic is going to send it back in towards that area. Now that's how he flicks it on. Cleared out again. It's a little bit like beach volleyball at the moment. Mustafic gets it back down the deck. The Ukraine's coming over again with it. Leading thanks to a free kick goal. And what has been a very tight contest. Asari giving it out to Hodzic. Sounds like going to make another series of changes. Uh, Drinkic coming on for Amir Hot. Probably trying to save Amir's legs for a uh, first team game they've got coming up. And just reminded we're going to have that at 8 pm. That's a foul throw there on uh, the Ukrainians. So we moved into the final half, half hour of this match. Right now, Ukraine reserves are heading to the top of the table. Three points clear, the Bojeta reserves. So now to the right winger. 
going to have a bit of space to bend this one in. Salimovic miscued the clearance. He's going to have another crack at it, though. And Mustafic will complete the clearance. And Mustafic steps well on that, and he's running the second tackle. Looking up for Durovic Savic, but read by the Ukrainians. Drinkic looking long up for Vustovic. Oh, it's a little bit too high for him. It's going to be out with the Ukrainian winger. Mustafic into Drinkic. And the Ukrainians read that well there from Drinkic and uh, crowded it out and then back with it. And having a good spell of possession on the ball at the moment, the Ukrainians looking into the striker. The striker couldn't get the flick out. Now Asabi will bring it out into Drinkic. It's Durovic Savic. And his first touch overran it. Going to come out to Vustovic. Well dealt with there by the fullback. It's going to get it again. That's played into the central player. The Ukrainians probing for that second goal. Going out to the right winger. And they've got some options in the middle. Looking in behind for the right winger. He's got down to the byline. Hit across the six yard box and Makic was there to clear the danger and Hodzik now coming out with it at the other end dribbling at the centre back but the defender watching it really well out to the winger and he's got a bit of space now delivers it in Reza Mastovic comes out for it he's missed it and Medin Sekic got the touch the Ukrainians with it again and they are really knocking on the door right now for that second goal Alasawi though winning it and Durovic Savic is looking off that last man and that is a super ball by Alasawi Durovic Savic is onside lot to do he's trying to cut in on that left foot still in it he's in the box now they're going to have to be careful the Ukrainians Goes back to Kirkit, who's supporting him. And in the end, he's gone over, and the referee is not going to give anything for that. And the Ukrainians have got a goal kick. Kirkit's just come on to that left side. That was an excellent pass through by Alasawi to Durovic Savage, though, but he had a lot left to do. Three defense feet. Does it? Mirzet Purisic's also coming on to that right wing. Signs out with Dron Vyshtovic uh, to keep him fresh for the first team game. And that has gone the wrong way, that header, and he's through the number 15. Reza Masovic coming out and clearing that one well. They're coming back in, and it's looking very dangerous for Sanzat right now. Played in behind for that left winger. He's just about kept it. Oh, oh just off. will take it. Looking up for uh, Trinkic, who looked like he got a hand in the back, but the referee didn't give anything. And Arsawi looking direct. A nice first touch by the Ukrainian. Sawi coming away with it. Looking in, and that's another super ball out to Durovic Savic on the corner of that left pitch. Getting onto his right foot and has the shot. It's come off of Purisic in the end. Sanzak with it again, Alasawi. 
And he's had the long range effort and it's just tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. What an effort by Alasawi. It's a good 30 yards out there. And the keeper had to deliver some spectacular acrobatics to keep Ukraine ahead. Stands out with the corner. And they've got seven up in the box. They seek to get this game level. Sekic will take this corner. Whips into the front post. Cleared out on the front post. Keeps it in Sekic. And that's better. Drinking up and it's on the back post. And Durovic Savic has equalised for Sanzak. And the fox in the box strikes again. You've always got a chance when you've got Durovic Savic poaching in the area. And he was alert to that misheader by Drinkic. And with 20 minutes left, we're all level. And Lukovic being sent on as well for Sanzaki. He's going to join Makic at the centre back position. Salivamic so has moved to left back, and Mustafik being withdrawn. Here's Drinkic, he's looking up for Drovic Savic, but Spenner read it well. Here's Ramo Sekic, and there's still a Ukrainian player down. Both teams continue to play for now. Cleared out centrally, and he is back on his feet now, the Ukrainian. Here's Alasawi, going to Ramo Sekic. Drinkic, uh, was on the same wavelength as Perisic. And Durovic Savovic has made it a real habit this season for Sanza, both of the first team and the reserve team, to pop up and get a goal when they most need it. And he's done it again. And we are in for an intriguing final stage this game. And Krukic's going to get a yellow card for that just for continually kicking that ball backwards. And that is Perisic making another change. Krokic coming off right after getting that yellow. Hodzig sent on. And the number four, that's a decent looking ball in and he's Real chance there for the Ukrainian attacker. He just couldn't wrap his body around it, gets feet sort out, end up just sort of bouncing off of his shin. But a real let off there for the Bosnians. And they've got him behind there on that right side in this early shot and Rosa Masovic is relieved to see that one going behind. Drinkic getting good. Flick onto that, and here's uh, Durovic Savovic. He's got Hodzik ahead of him. Perisic in the back post, gives it into Hodzik. He looked to send it back into Savovic's path. Couldn't find him. That's good pressure there by Hodzik, and it's back with Durovic Savovic. Give that to Salimovic. Perisic is going to struggle to get onto that one. Ramo Sekic, so. Just got crowded out. The Ukrainians look like they might be about to set away a counter attack. It's overrun though. And Alasawi, game is really opening up. 
Durovic Savic with a lovely turn again. Giving it to Persic, giving it back to Durovic Savic. He's running around the first tackle in the second one by the defender. Well covered there. Lukovic has got the wrong side of the attacker and he's got some space here, the number nine to drive into. Just one option right now. The number 18 sitting on the edge, he's hit it across. But no one in there, the back post. But both teams starting to get a bit more tired. The uh, opportunities for counter-attacks are really opening up. 15 minutes left in the game. Talking into Drinkic. But it's one back by Ukrainians and the number five giving out to the city. He's got some space. He's going to have the strike. And it's taken a deflection and it's going to be another Ukraine corner as they seek to re establish that lead. And seek to get that win. That will take them three points clear of Borgetto reserves at the top. Sent in towards the middle. Drops down to the number five. They're going to have to be careful. Medin Sekic. Getting an initial clearance on. Sent back in. Reza Matovic. Just about managing to gather it. And Makic. To Slimovic. Alasawi. Back to Alasawi again. Slimovic lost his footing and the Ukrainians looking to capitalise with a quick throw in. Given back out to that right winger. And he's whipped in and it's a good ball across the face of goal. Medin Sekic cutting it out before the back post. The Ukrainian could apl apply the finish. And guys, just a reminder, do not go anywhere after this game. We're going to have the first teams of Ukraine and Sanzak facing off against each other in a game that is critical for both teams bid to make the promotion spots. Both teams just sitting behind it right now. And uh, with two games in hand and a win tonight would put them in touching distance of that playoff zone. As the Ukraine's got a free kick at the corner of the Sanzak box. And that one's whipped in across the face goal. Reza Matovic can't be gathering that one though. Alasawi's intercept that and Ferro Durovic Savic is on the left. Alasawi finds him with another good pass. Savic's first touch though delayed it and that was not a shot that pleased his teammates. He had Hodzik steaming up on his left side. And I think thus far Durovic Savic has proved his, his forte is more in the penalty area than out of it. Kick. Taking it out to Salimovic, who's had a good game for number eight. Alasawi. Looking over the top for Purisic. And Purisic got pulled back by the referee. By, sorry, by the Ukrainian defender. The referee seems to have a pretty clear view of it, but he hasn't given anything. That's left winger. Played in for 18. Again, driving out that defence, Ramos Sekic. 
Follow up and excellent pressure between Sekic and Alasawi. Benin Sekic looking for the long ball. Purisic. And it's a bounce back to the goalkeeper. Juric Savic is going to chase it. Goalkeeper clearing out to the 12. Who's done well with it there. Getting it out to the right back. And they've got a two on two right now, the Ukrainians. It's the ball sent in early. Sekic's going to get it. And the first time volley past the post. And they tested the Sanzat defence the second half with dangerous balls across the face of the goal. The Ukrainians just haven't been able to convert one. Lukovic, we can send that one away. Durovic Savic sets it back, and Hodzic got some space on the left. One on one with the defender, cuts in on his right, looking in behind for Perisic. But Perisic has strayed offside, and they've missed that chance. Sanzak, here comes the Ukrainians. Both teams looking for that winner as we move into the last 10 minutes of this game. Played in centrally. Switched out to the right back. Got some space to move forwards into. The big number nine is target. And he's looked in for the number nine. He's stretching into the back post. And once again, the ball flashes across the Sanzak goal mouth. But no one can apply the finishing touch. They've certainly had the chances in the second half, the Ukrainians. And Darko Drinkic is going to take a break. So I'm going to have Deza Ferovic. He's going to come in instead. Ramo Sekic has moved to the left back. Slimovic moving to the centre midfield. Now, it's a little bit late on the Ukrainian player. The referee not giving it in. It's Medin Sekic. Looking up for Durovic Savic. The defender got in there first, though. Out to the left back. He's going to push forward. Played out to the left wing and he's got have to stretch to deliver that in. The ball gone out. Adis Purisic is going to come on for the goal scorer, Durovic Savic, and Adis going into that centre forward position. And I said, I think we can probably expect to see Durovic Savic feature in the first team game off the bench at the very least. Sandak making another change. Crockett coming on. Crockett coming on that right wing. And Persich did well to kick that one in. And Crockett's going to get a free kick for that. Got sandwiched between the defenders. A little bit of after between Persich and the captain there. Still going on there afters. The Addis Perisic just trying to calm down Crockett a little bit. And Sanzak with a free kick. What can they deliver? Makic will take it. i 
Zaka push forward, six men for this one. Makic drives it in. And it's bouncing around. Crooked, give back to Slimovic. And he caught it with power, but not the control that was required. And it's gone over the bar. There's a real melee in and around the penalty spot. Route one there. So coming together the legs between the Ukrainian and uh, Tezaferovic, but the Ukrainian retrieving that ball out by the Sanzak corner flag. Whips in and he's got his head on it, the big man, but it would have taken something special. He's right on the edge of the penalty area and need a lot of power behind that header. And Perisic looking to break through but the touch was too big <laughs> 85 minutes gone in the match the Ukrainians took the lead in the second half with a free kick and a Durovic Savic equaliser squared it up but both teams wanted to win this game to tr try and catch well for the Ukrainians pull ahead of Borgetto and Sanzak get a bit closer Go okay, within two points to them. And it's the left winger with the ball. Going back to the skipper. And on balance, Ukrainians will probably be unhappy if they don't come away with a win. They've had a couple really good chances in the second half with good deliveries into the box and just an attacking player and they're not able to get the final converting, converting touch to finish it. But Sanzak had a couple of opportunities as well. Played out to the left winger. Just cutting in on that right, sending it across. There's a good switch out. Alasawi, who has been excellent for Sandak in the middle, winning it back, but the Ukrainian pressure continues. Number 19 pushing up, and there's a fair bit clearing it, but Ukraine continued to search for that goal. Played into the striker, on the turn, had the shot. But right at Reza Matovic. And that's a long range shot and he hit that with some venom. And the number nine was Looking for any rebound, Razumatovic gathering it quickly on the spill and Sanzak just not keeping that ball at all and it's all Ukraine right now in the final couple of minutes of this game. It's a loose pass though. Back with Ukraine once again though. Looking hopefully over the top, Makic clearing it out. Uh, we're in the final minute of the game. Can Ukraine get that goal? And it's sent across the goal map, but too high for any of the options in the box. And that may be the last chance of the game. Podzik is going to be withdrawn. And uh, Mustafa coming on to that left wing. And it's just come to the shepherd out. And there is the full time whistle. 1 1 between the teams. Not the result really either wanted. Both wanted to get that win. Uh, 
the second half was a real improvement upon the first, though. Both teams playing with a lot of attacking intent. Free kick from uh, Ukraine, putting them uh, up ahead before uh, Durosavovic. Poacher's goal. Brought it all level. And guys, we are going to have the first team game. Sanzak against the Ukrainians in their monumental promotion battle. Both teams just off those promotion spots. Kicking off at 8 o'clock, so do not go anywhere.
Hello guys, we are back for the promotion contest between the Ukrainians and Sanzak. And the stage is so well set for this game. We saw Japan uh, a little bit early in the day. They won their game. Japan is sitting ahead of both Ukrainians and Sanzak. Uh, currently, I believe by, by five points, five or four points respectively. But Japan have played two more games. So if either Sanzak or Ukrainians can win tonight, they're then just going to be one win away from getting into that playoff spot with a very, very close to the end of the season. Only two games left after today. Uh, the, the Ukrainians have the best defence in the league, so Sanzak can be up against it. They're 1-1 against Block Espanol, but Sanzak have had 10 points uh, in their last 12 games. So, so both teams coming in pretty hot, and I think we are, we are here for a spectacular, uh, a spectacular game. Let's have a look. Without further ado, our Sanzak starting lineup. Sanzak is led by uh, Kemal Hot. We have got number one in goal, Arsene Dasic. We have number two, Amir Hot, although I believe Amir is going to be wearing number 25 today. We've got number three, Emir Bakovic. Number four, Florent Joppa. Number seven, Esmir Vucetovic, the very tricky winner. Number nine, Ferro Durovic Savic. So we saw get a goal for the reserves just a, a little time ago, but he'll feature for the first team. We've got number 10, Harris Savic, the incredibly dangerous Sanzak Ford, who loves nothing better than to play with Messiah Sekic, who is back from injury. Those two have combined on well over six goals, assists and goals between them. We have number 14, Sanal Sermanovic. We have number 17, Harris Orhavak. At the back, the big man, Mirza Hot. We have the skipper, Medin Sekic. We have Adil Salimovic, who also played in the reserve game, but we should see him a little bit of him in this uh, first team match. We have the fullback, Agim Jimmy. We have Azmir Ivanovic, Darko Drinkic, who played in the reserve game, may see him in this uh, first team game as well. We have number 13, Elvin Sekic, back in the squad after two weeks out. We have the defender, Florent Papucci. And finally, the young man, the playmaker in the middle, who has really come into his own and is going to have a lot of weight on his shoulders today with Amir Todic out, Mirza Sabovic. And there is our Sanzak starting lineup, or squad even, facing off against the Ukrainians and both teams chase after those promotion spots. The Sanzak are going to be playing in their dark blue strip today and the Ukrainians will be in their white and uh, last time we saw this Ukrainian side it was a couple of weeks ago against Missile FC and the Ukrainians absolutely dominated that game winning 5-1 since then, uh, the last weekend, they also crushed Flushing FC 6-1. So in a nice little run of form at the moment, the Ukrainians. Sanzak are missing a few notable players as well. They've got uh, Kozik, unfortunately, sustained a pretty serious injury last week, which is going to require surgery. He's not watching the game today, but he's on crutches, unfortunately. It's a huge loss for Sanzak in the centre of defence. They're also... Missing uh, Amir Todic, who was uh, suspended for a considerable length of time, unfortunately. So he will not be in that centre midfield. Back from uh, injury, Papucci and Mirza Hot at centre defence. Amir Hot at left back, Jimmy at right back. Looks like we'll have a uh, so Manovic in the centre midfield alongside 
The young man, Mirza Sabovic. And then we're going to have uh, Harris Sabovic on the left attacking wing. Ferro Durovic Sabovic centre forward. Messi Sekic back from injury. Big addition. I did hear this morning that Messi still having a little bit of trouble with his ankle, but I'll see how it goes. And uh, if he can stay fit for this whole game, that was going to give Sanzak a real threat up front. And we also have uh, Vucetovic as well in there for Sanzak. Just a little delay in this kickoff as uh, looks like the referees just going through some paperwork. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the broadcast. Should be underway in just a couple of minutes. Oh, and guys, we have a huge uh, update action on result today. Central Park Rangers drew 2-2 against Eintracht, who are bottom of the table, which uh, now means that Central Park Rangers uh, Borgetto are just going to need a point, I believe, in their final game to, to win the league because they've got such a superior goal difference. And now Central Park Rangers are within touching distance of both Sanzac. If Sanzac can win, they would go two points by Central Park Rangers. But Central Park probably secure for that second pl place. But Borgetto are on the cusp of winning the league now. And what a shock result that is. I think that may have been Eintracht's first points they picked up all season. And I'd definitely be interested to hear the story behind that game.
All right, guys, and apologies to the delay to kick off. I do see uh, one referee there. I'm not sure if we have linesmen yet. Maybe the delay. But unfortunately, that's been a bit of a repeated theme of the, of the, the league at times is that the linesmen have held up the games. Alright guys, so we just got a little bit of update information. I can see the linesman now and got a data line up from uh, Sanzak. It's going to be a uh, drink kitchen goal. Papucci and Mirza Hot centre back. Amir Hot left back. Jimmy right back. And then in the centre midfield, we're going to have Vushitovic, who normally plays on the wider positions. We're in the centre midfield alongside Samanovic. Mirza Savovic sitting in behind the front three. And that front three will be Messi Sekic on the right wing. Ferro Durovic Savovic as the centre man. And Harris Savovic. Left winger. And I said they are uh, short a few. Sanzak missing. Todic, Ahmed Todic, and Kojic, and both those two will be out for a significant period of time. Unfortunately, neither of them will feature again this season. And Sanzak fought so hard to get within touching distance of the promotion spots. They can get that win tonight, as I said. They'll, be, they'll have a game in hand on FC Japan and just be a point behind them. But they have a very tough run in. They've got Borgetto next weekend, which we will be streaming on Sunday. And uh, as, as you will, uh, if you were just listening earlier, Central Park Rangers, who are second place, had a shock draw against Eintracht. So Borgetto now five points clear of uh, Central Park with two games left. So Borgetto, they can get just a point it's over they've won the league so tune in for that one next week guys that's going to be 4pm here at Randall's again but it looks like we're about to get underway here on uh, Randall's Island the linesmen have arrived referees on the field and Durovic Sabovic Standing over the ball. Yeah, Jacob. And we are off and underway. Jurovic Savage kicking us off. Sanzak in the blue. So Manovic giving it back to. There's a hot and both teams looking for that win. And Dasik taking a very early chance with that about two feet away from his goal line, getting away with it. And here's uh, Messi Sekic was looking to get that from Jurovic Savovic. Messi Sekic back from injury, missed last week. And there's some industrial tackles by Sanz out the referee waving play on. Here's Vushtovic giving out to Jimmy for his first touch to the right back. And Messi Sekic has turned his man well and he's got some space to drive into, Messi. Takes on his left foot, has the shot. And that was not too far away from where he scored his goal of the month for April, Messi. Couple of feet wide this time. But showing exactly what Sanzak missed last week. 
and then he was out. They really struggled to find the cutting edge last week. Sands out. Without Messi. And a really big threat he adds there. And Ukraine's looking for that over the top. Amir Hot getting it. Here's Harris Sabovic. Tony Well giving it back to Amir Hot. Papucci, who has some big shoes to fit in there. That uh, centre back Papucci. Amir Kodzic, the skipper, has come through for Sanzak at the back so many times at so many important occasions. And Jimmy with the throw. Mirza Sabovic up to Durovic Sabovic. Tossed in and uh, Vustovic got a foot in the stomach. Referee not calling it. Play goes on. Amir Hot absolutely cutting it out for a Ukrainian player. Jimmy back to Mirza Hot and Vustovic is still down. Play continues. And Mirza Hot's miscued that clearance. He does clear that one out finally and Vustovic is going to be able to get some attention. Hopefully just nothing more than some bruising. Oh, he's back on his feet now, Vistovic. Tostin is a hot, getting his hand there. Vustovic recovered. Just took a little too long on the ball there though. And the Ukraine's looking to break forward. Miz a hot, reading that one well though. And putting his foot through it. Harris Sabovic with a lovely first touch. And Faro going for the overlap. Harris looking to cut through the middle. Got a lot to do and just got crowded out in the end by the white shirts. And Ukraine is going to push forwards on that right side. Cut in and it's a lovely little flick back to the centre fielder, out to the winger. Cutting on his right foot and having the shot well wide in the end. Mirza Hot into Samanovic. Papucci looking for Harris and Harris dummying it for Durovic Savic, but the ball running out for throwing. That ball's drilled long. Jimmy watching it and getting a strong head on it, but back with Ukraine. Fed into the centre back. A little bit of miscommunication in between uh, the Sanzak attackers. And back with Papucci. Pucci was looking out for Harris Savic, but Ukrainian right back getting a foot on it. He's certainly going to have his hands for the right back with Harris. And the referee just checking that the ball is okay.
signing that. It's got enough air in it to play with. Tossed in towards Ferro Durovic Savovic. Now it's just going to run out for a goal kick. Sent up long by the goalkeeper. And Mirza Savovic getting his head on there. Here's Harris. The ball just clipped his heels. And the referee is going to give a free kick though to Savovic. Just caught, caught a little bit by the Ukrainian player. And uh, it'd normally be Ahmed Todic to take a free kick in this sort of position. But Harris Savovic on. Free kick duty this time. Sending in towards the back post and it's a little too close to the keeper. He watched it well and gathered. And Ukraine will look to try and create a counter attack from this. Or not, they're just uh, opting to keep that ball instead. And Messi Sekic is going to put a little bit of pressure on that. A lovely turn by the centre midfielder. Come over there, played out to the winger, the right back. Coming on the overlap. The winger just delayed and uh, Papucci with a good tackle in there to eliminate the threat. Here's Harris Savovic. Savovic back to Vucetovic. One well by the centre back. And uh, free kick given on Vucetovic there. Sure, exactly what for. And that one's cleared out by Jimmy. down to the left back and he's cutting in on his right foot trying to find the delivery send back to the full back and he'll whip that in with his left foot and this is a dangerous moment for Sanzak the Ukrainian got his head on it couldn't find the direction Pucci up to Harris Sabovic. And Harris got caught on it and he's going to get a free kick for that. And Pucci back to Drinkic. Drinkic, the Sanzak skipper tonight. Back to oh sorry, Dasik even in goal, not Drinkic. Dasik. Uh, he's going to be the skip. He's the skipper tonight in a uh, Kozik's place. Here's a hot. And here's a uh, Bushtovic. Durovic Savic, so good on the half turn, Savic. Harris back to Vushtovic. Into Samanovic. Mirza Savic and Sanzak have been a little bit better on the ball so far. Here's Messi Sekic looking to just escape the defender with his first touch. Mirza a hot going in too hard on the Ukrainian player catching his heels. It's going to be a free kick. Two Ukrainians taking it quickly to the semi fielder. And that's a decent looking ball. Papucci getting good head and it's going to come back out. And going for the spectacular, well, going well wide in the end.
Capucci giving it out to Amir Hop. Mirza Sabovic couldn't keep it in. Rustovic looking for Dorovic Savic. But Savic hadn't got in front of his man. And that ball's bouncing around in there. Papucci waiting for Dasic to come out. He does. Going back to Papucci. Sabovic looking for a ball over the top for Sekic. But Sekic hadn't chased it. Uh, we just passed the 10 minute mark in this game. Sent over the top, but sounds like defences look pretty comfortable so far in this opening stage. Mirzahot and Papucci content to sit deep to protect against those long balls. Sekic getting a good flick on, looking for Durovic Savic. And that's loose there in the middle, and it's Samanovic. Giving out to Vustrovic. And Vustrovic's going to take a long range shot. It's about 40 yards out. Got a decent amount of power behind it, but keep a, a long time to watch. Well accepted there by Samanovic. Looking for the give and go with Harris Samanovic, but the Ukrainian defender stepped up and won it. And here's the winger. He's got a one-on-one -on -one here. Played back in to the Ukrainian. Slipping it through. And then the box Ukrainian had the shot. And he has not managed to apply the finish well wide in the end. Really well worked counter-attack though by Ukraine. And that number 10 will be really disappointed they couldn't hit the target at the very least. And uh, sounds like making the first change of the game is uh, Alvedon Sekic, who uh, the last time we saw him was his debut for Sanzak, in which he scored after 45 seconds. We'll see if he can make quite a fast introduction, but a very talented attacking player. And it is fed in towards him. He slipped that time, but back with Harris Sabovic. And Sekic giving it to Sabovic. Lovely Maradona by Sabovic. And Mirza Sabovic having the shot. Good attack there though by Sanzak. Harris Sabovic with delightful feet there. And it's uh, Samanovic who's made way for uh, Alvin and Sekic. Harris Sabovic has dropped into that midfield alongside uh, Mirza Sabovic and uh, Vushtovic. Amir Hot with a towering header there. Going to be a Ukraine throw. Mirza Savovic looking for a little dink over the top to Jimmy, but can't find him. Sent in long, Amir Hot clearing it out. And Durovic Savovic winning that one back. And Harris coming away with it. Messi Sekic in a lot of space on the right, but ball sent in behind him.
given into the centre midfielder. And the winger's got a bit of space to the left wing they can find. And the striker just went full through the centre centre. Mirza hot with a good intervention and coming away with it. Looking to find Harris Savic in behind and he's got through. Oh sorry, Alvin and Sekic. Two options in there. Looking for Messi Sekic. Messi on the turn. And he's put it in. Messi Sekic back from injury. And he's put Sanzak ahead. And how they missed that man last week. Brought it down on the turn. And right in the bottom corner. And Sekic makes his mark once again in the game. There was a good ball initially through to Harris Sabovic, who found Messi Sekic. He had a lot to do. His first touch, take him on the turn, and his left foot finish, leaving the keeper rooted to the spot. And uh, Samanovic has come on. Harris Sabovic, uh, who got that assist, is going to take a breather. And that's a nice touch there. Chipped in. Papucci bringing it down. And Cooley giving it out to Jimmy. Well, that was short by Jimmy. Vushtovic. Winning it back. Savic looking for Messi Sekic. And that's going to be a free kick to Ukraine. Oh, sorry, I got corner throwing even. Durovic Savic did not hold back on that clearance. He's put that over the fence. A little bit overkill. I'm sorry, it's actually Harris Savic who's still on. He's on that uh, left wing. Elvin Sekic. Elvin and Sekic has uh, made way for Samanovic. And I'm not sure if that's uh, injury related or just a tactical decision because he only came on a few minutes before Elvin Sekic. Now that's a decent looking ball centre on Mezahot watching it well. And Jimmy got caught by a high foot. And there's some afters off the ball there between Mezahot. Resume now with uh, Sanzak. Free kick. Papucci looking to hit Harris Savovic. And uh, Savovic has come away with that one. Coming down the left. Looking at the back post towards Messi Sekic. He's gone over him. And Sekic can't keep that in. Intercepting that well and uh, still kept it in on that right wing. Surrounded by white shirts and got absolutely poleaxed there by a Ukrainian player. Sent out long. Ukraine is coming away with that well, and they're coming down this right side now. Into the striker. And 
Yeah, they are in the middle now, and he's had the early shot, the big midfielder. Plays that one over the bar, but he was a standout performance. That big number four for Ukraine when we saw them against Misil was really at the centre of everything. Pucci sending out uh, Amir Hot. Here's Mirza. And Harris Sabovic. Ukraine is pressuring and Harris Sabovic looking for a clever little ball over the top to Drovic Sabovic. But intercepted. And that big number six on it. Looking for the switch and it's a good ball out to the number four who didn't judge the bounce well. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're watching us on the YouTube, we've got so much more football coming to you this uh, summer and this spring. So hit that subscribe button if you want to be in on the action. I mean, really appreciate your uh, support of both teams and also of the live stream. Amir Hot having retrieved that ball for midway through this first half with a Sanzak head courtesy of a Messi Sekic goal. And it's dangerous here, he's driving out the defence number six, giving it out to the left winger for Ukraine's in the box. He's turned Jimmy inside out, but Mirza Hot coming across and covering well. One back though by Ukraine. Switched out wide. That ball's crossed in. Still just about kept alive. Given it back on the edge of the area. Well pressed there by Avustovic. And very calm there. Excellent play there by Avustovic. And there's a Harris Sabovic looking to. Okay, the outside swinging ball into Messi Sekic, but that would have been something special to find his partner in crime. Good turn, and given out to the left winger. Taking on Jimmy 1v1. Getting back on the edge. And he's got a bit of space here, the skipper. Lovely little dink in, brought down, and the chest touch too big. But back with Ukraine again. And having a good spell of pressure. Amir Hot just putting his foot through that one. Now Savic trying to get the nutbag, couldn't. And he just got a little bit of the right back's foot. And he's going to get a yellow card for that, just for pulling him back. Inside and it's a diagonal ball. Mirza a hot getting another towering header on it. And Vushtovic getting the clearance. And Jimmy collided with the Ukrainian, and the free kick's been given on him. And Ukrainians with a free kick about 35 yards out. Got a lot of height 
the Ukrainians forwards. Six players up. And the ball's whipped in. Papucci reading it well. And the ball bouncing around very awkwardly for Durovic Savovic. Samanovic putting his foot through that one and getting it out. Dinked in again. There's a hot there to clear it out, but all Ukraine right now. Into the skipper. Be another Ukraine free kick. Oh, wait, and uh, Durovic Savic. It's going to make way. And, uh, it's like it's going to be uh, Ramo Sekic, the young 17 year old who's coming in. They already played a fair bit for the reserve team. See how those youthful legs hold up. It looks like Ramo Sekic has moved into centre forward position. Uh, Mirza Sabovic on that left wing. Selimovic giving out to Jimmy. Jimmy just got caught out in it though. And the big number six giving it back for Ukraine. Centre back driving forwards with it now. And he's still got it. Vustovic is uh, down. And very sportingly, Ukraine have uh, kicked that out. That's Vustovic, who looks in some pain. And unfortunately, that's going to be the last we see him in for this half, at least. It looks like it may be an ankle issue. And hopefully not a thing too serious. Sanzak's list of injured and suspension is not getting any shorter. Looks like uh, Samanovic is being sent back in. Thirty minutes into the game, with Sanzak ahead, and as I said, Japan won uh, their game against Sporting Desportiva 2-1, which means right now Japan, before this game started, was sitting five points ahead of Sanzak, but Sanzak having two games in hand. So if Sanzak can win this one, they will be two. They will be sorry, four points behind Sanzak. So they'll be just one point behind Japan as a uh, Ukraine probing forwards though. And looking in behind, he's got another chance to the number 10. And Papucci, quite coyly, went, slid in as if he's going for the tackle and then pulled out at the last minute and got the number 10 to pull out too. But U Ukrainians, their situation, they are now five points off Japan, also two games in hand. If they lost uh, this game, they would need to win both their final matches of the season against Williamsburg and uh, Desportiva and for Japan to drop points in their final game of the season. So really, uh, if either team loses today, their promotion chances look very slim. 
And if either team wins, they are in a very strong position, although Sanzac have such a strong oppo opposition they're facing next week, Borgetto, which will be covering at 4 p.m. And then the final week, they're going to have Central Park Rangers second place. So Sanzac have got the hardest to come. Lovely work there by the number four. And a good switch out to the winger, Messi Sekic, who has been quiet at this game besides his goal. Putting in the tackle there. Just another switch out. Hot getting that one out well. Simanovic into Mr. Savovic, whose first touch let him down. Sekic was screaming for it on the right wing. He's done well to keep that in the Ukrainian. And it's going to be whipped in towards their box. Ramos Sekic, who's in the centre midfield position, win that one. And uh, Simanovic battling for it. Giving all the way back, though, to the defender. Saint Long, slip there by Jimmy. And the referee just asking Sanzak not to take too long over this. It's going out to Amir Hot. Just looking to set away Harisavich. Back to the goalkeeper. Jimmy intercepting that, and here's uh, Messi Sekic. And Jimmy carrying going on the right back. Hasn't had too many opportunities to get forged yet, but here's one. The cross wasn't a good one, though. And he's got, that was a long busting run back. It's gonna, I think it's going to take him a little while to get back. Long busting run forwards. Fed out to the right winger for Ukraine. They've got a couple of numbers forwards here. And uh, that space that Jimmy's left open is being exploited. The cross is sent in. Mirza Hot comfortably gathering that. And here is Jimmy again on it. And uh, got brought down, but no free kick given. And Jimmy probably needs a little breather. They are looking for that ball in behind again. Amir Hot couldn't get the full clearance out. And it looks like Jimmy, unfortunately, is going to be subbed off. He hurt himself a little bit in that tackle. Jurovic, Savovic coming back on. But you're really hoping that these uh, Sanzak players who are picking up knocks are not, they're not serious because they are so depleted already. And he went down too easily there, the number 10. Here's Papucci. Looking to set away Messi Sekic. A little too central. The goalkeeper running out. And uh, cleared it well.
now it's Jordan Long looking in behind and Ramo Sekic is going to have to stay awake here and he's done well there Ramo Ukraine is back with it Zuravic Savovic just lacking a little bit of composure there trying to get his foot through it Harris Savovic got a foot on it and he got caught a little bit late And Sanzac is going ahead and really uh, let themselves be controlled by Ukraine. Ukraine having a lot more of the ball. They started well, Sanzac. But it's been the Ukrainians who have had the better of this first half so far. So far. Got about 10 minutes left in this first half. Going back to Dasic. Amir Hot looking long for Mirza Savovic, looking to set him away. And Savovic had done well there to get a on it, but couldn't come out on top in the end. Fair back in, in the middle. They're coming down the left side. Lovely step over turn there by the centre midfielder, but Samanovic. So looking to get it and it's given back to the goalkeeper. A little awkward the bounce. Deals with it well. And Duravic Savage looking for Paris Savage, but they're just not able to keep the ball tall at the moment. Sanzak. Out to the left winger and he's got defender overlapping him. Given to the overlapping defender, he's got a space to deliver the cross in. Dinks it back in towards the edge and it's headed by a Papucci, I think, in the end. I'm not sure he went intending to go that direction, but it's gone back to Dasic. Dasic setting up to. Messi Sekic looks to flick it onto Durovic Savic. And here's Ramo Sekic. Durovic Savic. That's lost again by Sanzak. And I'm not sure actually how many uh, reserves the Ukrainians have themselves on the bench today. It's a really big pitch, this Randall's Island. Fatigue suddenly becomes a factor as it wears on. And that's a good ball through. And they're through on that left side. Dasic has come off his line, hit back across, and it's going to be an equaliser for the Ukrainians. And he very nearly missed that one, actually, but he's put it away. A broke through on that left side. Dasic was caught in no man's land. And in the end, they're able to walk it in. And you have to say, on the balance of things, the Ukrainians do deserve that equaliser. And we're back to all square. How can the Bosnians react? Just let themselves fade out of the game after their goal. And then fight the pressure onto them and they finally were punished for it. They've certainly got the quality out there though, Sanzak. That's gonna be a free kick to Harris Sabovic. going to be Papucci who will deliver this in. The big man Mirza Hot has moved up for Sanzak. Drilled in towards that back post. He's looking ball and Durovic Savic got his head on it. Right, it's gone past post. I think it's offside anyway. The referee's called it. 
Uh, of course, if you're watching last week, you would have seen that Sanzac were denied a last minute winner against Block Espanol on our cycle from a cross. Uh, very incensed by it. And we put it up on the Instagram if you want to check out uh, whether you think it was on or off. It's definitely a call that was uh, in question. And they've gone long again, the Ukrainians. Mirza Hot winning that one. It's another round. Ramos Sekic coming in a little bit too hard though on the winger and there. Uh, Ukrainians are gonna have a free kick and a good crossing position here. Sent in with the left foot. Ball bounce round and uh, cleared out by uh, Ramo Sekic. Good work there by. Oh, well, it's a good look to me. Good work by Drovic Savic, but the referee giving a foul for coming in a little bit too hard in the back, and uh, that one has not made the Bosnians happy. There's a hot going over to protest, but they're going to have another good crossing position for this free kick. Ukraine and we're moving right before half time and wouldn't they love to go ahead the Ukrainians turning this game around Referee just going to sort out the rough and tumble on the edge of the penalty area. And this will be sent in now. And it's uh, flicked in, still bounces around, and the number 10 going for a spectacular bicycle kick. Went wide. Or oh, it looks like maybe a Sanzac foot came off at last. It's going to be a corner for the Ukrainians. And Dasik also uh, very unhappy with the referee right now, Sanzak. To look perhaps that that was uh, just a bicycle kick. And they can't quite believe it, Sanzak, but they need to get their head into it because this is going to be a corner one way or the other. Referee's not going to reverse our call. sent in but not good delivery he's just hacked away though and that is a free kick to Sanzak Amir Hot getting a little talk to you from Dasik it was that slice there that almost put them in some hot water no pun intended there sent out long and uh, that's almost a very nice turn of it Mirza giving it into Samanovic Salimovic even sorry and it's another silly free kick given away by Sanzak. And they just keep on coming in behind the Ukrainian players. They're going to have another chance the Ukraine. It's been about four corners or free kicks on that side. And just continuing to get that opportunity to bombard the Sanzak penalty area. And that's a good ball in and Papucci with a really important header there. Salimovic keeping it in. Looking down for the line for Harris Sabovic, who intercepted it. Uh, there is the half-time whistle. The team's going in all level. Messi Sekic put Sanzak in the lead, but since then the Ukrainians really being the dominant side and getting a deserved equaliser. And both teams will be looking for that win today. 
But they're going all square. Do not go anywhere, guys. We'll be back shortly.
And welcome back, guys. Both teams taken to the field. We're about to kick off for the second half. With it all square. And these teams so desperate for that three points that would take them just a win away from overtaking FC Japan, who both teams have two games in hand on currently, and getting into that coveted promotion playoff spot. If we have a look at our stands out line, we've got Dasik in goal, Papucci and Mirza hot centre back, Ramo Sekic at right back, left back Amir hot, we have uh, Selimovic, Alasawi, and Mirza Sabovic in the centre of midfield, and then Ferodurovic Sabovic back to lead the line, Harris Sabovic on the left wing, and Messi Sekic, the goal scorer for today, on that right wing. Ukrainians pushing early on the right side. It's got a bit of space to drive into. Looks to cut it back, but Alasawi, who uh, played the entire reserve game, with the exception of perhaps the last five minutes, showing no lack of energy there. Messi seconds, that was a little bit loose, but free kick called there from uh, Dorovic Savovic, who immediately ap apologised. I think he was just a little bit high with his foot. Send on Papucci, getting first on that one, referee. Let play go on. Giving down the line. Looking to turn by Ramos Sekic. Staying with him, but back with the Ukrainians. The number 10. Looking to have a long range effort. Uh, very comfortable for Dasic. Jurovic Savovic turning sharply and looking in behind for Sekic. Messi Sekic winning that back again. Look to dink it in towards Mirza Savovic, but crowd out. Sel Selimovic into Alasawi. And Alasawi was uh, pushed in the back, and that's going to be free kick. Mirza Hot is going to cannon this in towards the penalty area. And he looks for Ramo Sekic, who's got a bit of space here on the right, the 17 year old. Cuts in on the left and has the shot! And safety into the keeper's hands, worth the effort. Good to see the young man showing that confidence. And it looks like Messi Sekic has just pulled up and that is not good for Sanzak. He's done something messy. Here's uh, Mirza Savovic. Hopefully just a temporary thing. He's moving again now, Messi, but looks ginger. The movement. They're coming down the right though, Ukrainians. And they found a bit of space there for the number 10. 
And it's uh, gone out for a goal kick. And Messi, it's that ankle that has caused me problems before. It's going to soldier on for now. Alasawi, well, that's a little loose from Alasawi. One back by the Ukrainians, but loose themselves. And Amir Hot. Looking to switch it out to Messi Sekic. And it was late there on uh, Hot. The referee calling her back. And Salimovic. Apucci into Salimovic again. Fell inside and uh, ball switch for Ramos Sekic. Just got the wrong side of his man there. And here comes the Ukrainians. They've got a bit of space to drive into. Alasawi watching that one. But it's still coming and it's given to the left side. Fizzed across the box. Mirza Hot getting an initial touch and Amir Hot completing the clearance. Toss back in and they're going to have another cross in there. Played in low this time. Papucci clearing it. But a very good decision there by Papucci to leave that. Dasic claiming. And Papucci looking up long there. It was intercepted though. And right now, Sandak still struggling to just keep the ball. Here's Messi Sekic though. Giving it out to Sa Alasawi. Alasawi into Miss Savage, who let it run, hoping to find Sekic. And that's a good ball. And he's got some space here. He's taking a little bit out wide of this first touch. Cut back. He's going to have the shot, but right at Dasic. Alasawi just took too long on that and they're coming back again the Ukrainians Papucci with a good tackle Papucci with another clearance and the Ukrainians are just knocking on this door Sekic getting the block there he still looks a little bit ginger on the ankle Sekic Sent back in. That's number three, and he's got a lot of space there. He's onside, gives it back, and long range effort at Dasic again. But Sanzak have got to find a way to relieve some of this pressure. It just feels like a matter of time at the moment for the Ukrainians. Harris Sabovic could switch out to Messi Sekic, who looked first time for Alasawi, who's going to chase after it and do well to get a hold of it though. ball out to the right winger looking to get that ball and delivered in but at Dasic again and there's Papucci going to Amir Hot and Hot dwelled on that too long and they're just running themselves into trouble right now stands out good tackle there by Papucci though and Alasawi going to Messi Sekic Got dispossessed on that one, and they're coming forwards again. The Ukrainians sent in towards that back post, headed back down, and the Ukrainians with half-hearted appeals for a penalty 
which I really don't think would have been the right call. And that is a free kick, though, on uh, Mirza Sabovic. And Sanzak are going to make another change. Salimovic coming off. And it's uh, Lukovic called up from the reserves today. Coming in. And it looks like he's going to move in centre midfield. Mirza Sabovic. Nice little clip in to Durovic Savic. On the turn, he's going to connect with a shot. But he's done well there to win a corner for Sanzak. Uh, be a corner. Oh, yeah, she initially gave the goal kick, but the linesman helping her out there. It's going to be a corner. And Sanzak are going to make another change. It looks like Amir Hot taking a, a break. Jimmy coming on to the left side. Not too many forwards for stands out for this one. We've got four back, five in the area. Harris Sabovic will deliver. Sabovic sends in. Ramo Sekic looking to head it back into the danger area. Still bouncing around there. And Alasawi has a strike. Hit that one, back to Mizahot. Clear the last minute, it was offside anyway. I think it, I think it cannoned off of Ferro Savovic, Alasawi caught a hold of that one. Not sure if it was going to hit the target or not. Looked like it probably going to stray wide, but he had one in the reserves game as well. Ukrainians continuing to enjoy a lot of possession. They've moved it a well, a well, around well in this uh, most of the game. That's a lovely little cut to the right winger, and he's going to have another shot to deliver it in. Papucci to not get the clearance he wanted on that. And Alasawi getting it out. But it's loose from Durovic Savic and Sanzak continuing just to struggle to find any sort of foothold in this game. Papucci with a nice interception there though. Pucci with a direct ball. And Lukovic couldn't bring that down. Back with Jimmy, who just had to, sorry, Papucci just had to clear that one out. Getting out to the left wing, he's got a left back overlapping and played it back in centrally. Managing to escape away from Alasawi. Cut out to the winger, he's got plenty of space here to deliver this in. Puts in towards that back post, Papucci with another clearance, and he's made a lot of them today, Papucci. And Alasawi clearing that out. And Messi Sekic thought he going to come away with it, but the linesman wages fast for it, and Sekic's probably going to get a yellow card for that. Just taking his frustration out of there. Ukrainian's going to have a chance to deliver another ball in. Oh, 
delivered in and uh, Cronin got ahead on it but doing it the direction needed. As we hit the hour mark of this game. Stands out making another change. Durovic Savic is going to come out. And it's going to, I think it's actually Makic who has uh, come on. Makic who was playing in that reserve game, a centre back, now going to get a chance further up the field. And Ramo Sekic looking direct up for Harris Sabovic. But it's a little bit hit and hope. Looks like Makic is going to be centre forward. Mirza Sabovic into Messi. Messi Sekic on the left foot. Blocked by the defender who uh, keeps it from going for a corner. It's going to be a throw into Sanzak. Uh, about 30 minutes. 30, yeah, 30, yeah. That ball's sent in. And it's going to be a corner kick for Sanzak. Harris Sabovic to take. So, sent in. Still back to Rodney. Goalkeeper punches. Going to fall back to Ramosekic. Gives it out to Makic, who uh, went for a spectacular volley, but went wide. Sekic getting a good strong header there and the Ukrainians making a sub now Savic trying to get phone there and he gets it in the second time here. Here's uh, Harris Sabovic. Turning away and looking for Jimmy but cut out. Out with the right winger. Played in. He's going to have space again to deliver a ball in. Sent in towards the back post and he's leapt up for it. Still in there. Saved by Dasic. What a save by Dasic. Danger still there, looking for another shot. Bats around and Ramo Sekic complete the clearance. Dasic with a superb point blank save to keep Sands at level. And Alasawi can intercept that one. But just flagging for an offside there. But Dasic with a point blank save ball is hit with a lot of power. And heroics from the number one there for Sanzak. Sent along towards Alasawi. Alasawi lost his footing and the 
Coming forwards again. Mirza Hot coming over and doing enough to force an error from the striker. Dasic. And the Ukrainians just asking for a pat pass, but Mirza Hot was just attacking there. There's Alasawi giving it to Messi. And Messi with a nice first touch on the turn. Good tackle. And actually, the referee is now coming back to Dasic. Making a change as well, Sanzak. Amir Hot coming on for uh, Lukovic. Yo, you got the height. Tossing out, Sawi getting a good fit in uh, for another throw. Tossed on the line, Mirza Hot with a strong tackle. Alasawi clearing up. Back kick. Hand it to Sekic. He's going to chase that one down, and Sekic's just look, recovered since he pulled up a little bit with that ankle problem. And the keeper very cool there for Ukraine to get that one out. Bringing that out the back nicely there. Drum that left side, and it's a lovely reverse ball. And he's got a lot of space here, the left back. Fed back across. Ahmed Hot clearing it out. It's going to be sent in though behind the back line. And that's just over here. Messi Sekic is now uh, making way. Samanovic coming back on, and it looks like Samanovic will be on that right wing. just uh, shepherding that one out. Play out to the left winger. Back into the 14. And Ukraine have done such a good job keeping that ball moving. Just as I say, they lose it, but they can have it again. But they've really moved the ball well, the Ukrainians. And it was the same story when we last saw them against uh, Misil. They're going to have a free kick. Ukrainians in a decent position. And it's taken quickly out to that far side. Hit back in towards the back post and Dasic was back pedaling. Savage looking over the top for Makic. 
And it's bounced balls in the end. Mac kick is through here on the right. The number seven has the shot and it's... Did well to fashion himself the opportunity, Mac kick, but did not get the shot right at all. And gone well wide in the end. Great flick on by Harris Sabovic and Mackett do well to create that half a yard to get the shot. But disappointed he couldn't finish it. Twenty minutes left in the game, still 1-1. Both teams seeking that win, that would take them a win away from being promotion spots. Here's Samanovic. And they've got 4-3 right now. Here's Harris Samanovic on the left, trying to cut in, and as he's cut in, he's gone down. Referee waving nothing. And here comes Ukraine now, looking to create their own chance. The ball wasn't quite good enough though, and Mirza Hot to Alasawi. Ramo Sekic giving out to Alasawi. Feet a little bit there, the middle base going back. And it's good switch out to the Ukrainian right back. He's lost his foot in, and uh, Mr. Savic will come away with that into Makic, and uh, Makic got clattered behind. And it's going to be a free kick to Sanzak. And that ball sent in. And it's going to bounce out to Samanovic. And it's going to be a Sanzat throw in deep inside of the half. Going to Alasawi. Back to Ramo Sekic, who's bent it in towards the goalkeeper, who will comfortably gather that one. And Harris Samanovic just had a little bit of contact with the goalkeeper afterwards. And he's just got to be a little bit careful, Harris. Picked up a yellow card in the first half. Jimmy getting up well for that. And Harris Sabovic got kicked in the head there. And he's going to get a yellow for that and uh, things getting very heated. Uh, the player who whacked Harris did pick up a yellow. A 
And Mirza Savovich also picking up a yellow for his part in that melee. And Papucci will deliver this ball in. Harris Savovich back up on his feet after that. Just having Papucci move the ball back a yard. And maybe a few back a few more. And it's taken short. Papucci in the crossing position. Send it across, cleared out. Asawi intercepting. That way, and Ramo Sekic clearing that ball out. <laughs> Pucci winning that back, and is uh, Mirza Sabovic. Lovely little cut in by Mirza. Looking for the one-two with Messi Sekic, who just come back on for Makic. Papucci, and he's caught late there, and that's uh, not a nice tackle. And Sanzak unhappy with that one again. And Mirza Hot going to have a word with the guy who had the tackle. Papucci back up on his feet now. Referee's going to go over and book someone on the Sanzak bench. Oh, actually, she's given a straight red to someone on the Sanzak bench. Not sure who it was. I think it might be someone from the reserves, whoever it is. They've been sent off for something they said or other. But luckily for Sanzak, no one on the field, so they remain with their 11. And Papucci will take this one. Like finally, this free kick is going to be able to be taken. And Papucci sending it in long. Good towering header by the Ukrainian. Alasawi getting his foot on that one though. To clear back out. About 15 minutes left in the match. Papucci with an excellent tackle in there. Sorry, blocking that one well. Sent a nice turn in the centre by the Ukrainian. And they're looking over the top for the right winger. I'm in hot trying to chase it, but he's cut inside of him. And he's still going, and he's had a clip from behind. And the referee not giving the penalty. It did look there might have been some contact but the referee judging it to be not enough. 
And Mirza Savovic has been clattered from behind again. And this game just starting to run a little bit out of control right now with these fouls. I mean, I'll say the hard tackles have been on Sanzak. They've been absolutely battered the last couple of minutes by a couple of tackles. Pucci sending it forwards again. And uh, Messi Sekic got ahead on looking it for Harris Sabovic. Good step there by Salimovic, so. Salimovic. And here's uh, Sabovic. Lovely feet, and he's won a free kick, and that's going to draw another yellow card for the Ukrainians. I think that's four or five at this point. Mirza Sabovic showing some real quality there. And Messi Sekic putting the ball down anonymously. It's about 30 yards out. Papucci coming over to it as well. And it's a tall wall to get over for Messi. Sekic has already delivered one goal this game. What can he deliver now? Over the wall and the goalkeeper watching it well and keeping it in those two hands. Giving out to the right back as they look to break. Good ball down the line. And Papucci, who has been phenomenal. And the centre back today making another great tackle. Ramo Sakic. And here's uh, Amir Hot to Messi Sekic. Sekic escapes that first tackle. And what can he do, the number 11? Cuts in around the second and he's been brought down. And it's another, another really hard tackle from the Ukrainians. And it's. it's and unfortunately, I think that might have been on Messi's bad ankle. And that was the one that the ankle that Messi previously hurt two weeks ago against Williamsburg. He missed last week. Unfortunately, that's probably the last we're going to see of Messi set kicks today. And it's the ankle again. And Ferodurovic Savic coming back on. She will take this one. Drills in with that left foot at the goalkeeper, but not a good delivery. And we've moved into the last 10 minutes now of the match with it all level. If it stayed as it was, then uh, Sanzak would move three points behind Japan with a game in hand. And the Ukrainians would be uh, four points behind them with one game in hand. So Japan right now will be sitting here. If any of them watching, loving this result. Give it to Duro Savovic. Going to be another throw in.
Ramos Sekic finding Durovic Savic. Heels for a handball, but it's fallen into the penalty area. Alasau in the left, the push went for him, back to Mrs. Savic. And it's cleared out. Crane's cleaning that one out. Mirza Habits hot with a good interception and giving it back to Dasic. And Dasic, very coolly. But it sounds like they really have soldiered on in this game because they came into this game with a lot of injuries. And also, uh, Amir Todic also suspended. And they picked up a few more today, Vishutovic. Now a messy second, it's that ankle coming back, but they've kept on fighting, and that's uh, just going to require Dasic to come off of his line quickly. He's gathered that one. Amir Hart standing up long. Pucci got under that, that one. Durovic Savic not able to keep that one in play. That was a little bit of a high foot by Jimmy. And the Ukrainians are going to have a free kick just inside of Sanzak's half. Drilled in, looking in behind the defence, but Papucci comfortably going to shepherd that one out. Putting his foot through that one. And it's fallen to Harris Savovic, looking for Ferdurovic Savovic. Samanovic. Does well to win Sanzak a throw. Down to Durovic Savovic. Just holding up, and here's uh, Samanovic. And he got pushed over, and. Uh, Samanovic winning and uh, Ferrad Durovic Savic was a little bit late there, but play on for the Ukrainians. Sent over the top and the number six has got some options in the middle. He can get it across, feeds in towards the back post. And Ramo Sekic surrounded by two, manages to get half foot on it, but he's got a bit of space in the box. Alasawi coming back, falling back to the number 14, has the shot low! And Dasic. Relieved to see that one go just past the post. But Ukraine really should have got the winner there. There's less than a minute, two minutes left. And he had a lot of time. It's 
So man, it's trying to help it onto Drivic Savic, but one back again and uh, Ukraine searching for that winner. Lost it that time. Mizahot clearing that one out. And we're in the final minute of regular time. And it looks like it's going to be the result that FC Japan certainly would have wanted. Both the teams behind them. Drawing. Sent up long by Dasic. Papucci battling it for in the middle. Salimovic who's come on for Samanovic. And they're searching for that goal. Here's the left back. It's the centre midfielder. Given out to the right back. And he sent it in towards the back post, but Dasic. Comfortable to watch that go over the bar. And the referee just saying we've got two minutes of added time. Jimmy with some nice work there to get around two and he's going to free kick there. And Sanzak will take this opportunity to drive another ball in to the box. Aris Savic will take this. Pucci and Hot up there. Alongside four other Sanzak players. Oh, the ball hasn't even reached the, the penalty area. Aris trying to flick it on. Falls back to Ramo. Couldn't find Mr. Savic though. And it's cleared out by Ukraine. And there is the full time whistle. And it is a 1 1 draw. Not the result that either team wanted going into the game. They're both looking for that win. And uh, that leaves us with uh, Sanzak. Now, behind uh, FC Japan, who won earlier today, Sanzak are now three points behind uh, Japan. And uh, Ukraine is four points behind. Sanzak and Ukraine both have a game in hand. Sanzak can have a very tough run in there. They're playing Borgetto, top of the league, and then Central Park Rangers second. Borgetto could seal that title next week. But today it was a messy second goal. We got it underway, back from injury. Fortunately, he had to go off again injured with his, with his ankle. And the Ukrainians uh, pulled it level before half time. And, and guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate you coming out to support both the teams on the stream. And uh, make sure to subscribe if, uh, if you, you want to get more football in New York City. We've got so much more coming the rest of this year. And uh, it has ended 1-1 tonight. Thank you so much to Sanzak for bringing us in. Thank you to all the teams who brought us in this weekend. And we will see you back next weekend. Have a good night.